Hello you beautiful audience. This is Reddit Stories. And today's topic is 9 Wholesome Stories Part 81 1. My girlfriend and I are in a long distance relationship. One day while she was visiting we went out, we try to visit roughly once every three months, for breakfast at one of her favorite places to eat. There was an elderly man eating by himself across from us. He got up and paid for our meal without saying a word to us. Our waitress told us that he had done that and we were really shocked. We never got to thank him or anything no hellos, goodbyes, nothing. He just paid for it. I've since paid it forward and will continue to do so because of how grateful I am from his one generous act. 2. The local candy store shut down and it was the only place within miles where we could buy this one soda called Moxie. It's not popular where I am but it's my favorite soda and a few of my friends love it too. I knew we could get it at Total Wine so we went over and got kicked out of the store instantly as we are not 21. We couldn't figure out what to do and decided to drive to the Bevmoa town over to see if they had it. We get there and find it in the soda aisle and grab four bottles and walk up front. Apparently Bevmo has the same policy that you have to be 21 to be in the store and they said we couldn't buy it even though it is literally only soda. The little old lady that just checked out saw what happened and told us to wait outside. She came out with four bottles of Moxie and told us it made her day because she felt like we were her kids. It was adorable. 3. I was on the bus in rural Japan, in my early 20s. I am a white American, and stood out like a sore thumb there. I had a seat and an older woman got on, clearly having trouble moving, so I hopped up and gestured her to my seat. She tried to wave me off, but I stubbornly insisted. I stood for the rest of the ride and when I went to leave at my stop, she grabbed my hand and stuffed candy into it, saying arigato over and over. It was legitimately one of the sweetest encounters I've ever had with a stranger. 4. It was raining buckets in Tempe, Arizona. The parking lot was flooded because Arizona doesn't build things for proper runoff. I was parked on one of the Asu lots way off campus, over by the practice field for those in the know. My tires were all in about 4 inches of water and one went flat. Random guy came over in the pouring rain and changed my tire. I didn't have anything to give him and he just shrugged off my offer to send him something later. He was soaking wet by the time he was done. Amazing guy. 5. I was having an absolute shit day and went to a drive through to buy a coffee on my way home from work, I arrived at the window and the girl working there said my coffee was paid for by the lady in front of me in line. I think I cried. 6. Last year I was stuck in a really quiet part of Tokyo on an exchange. It happened to be that night of the trip where I was finally having to say goodbyes to some of my closer friends. After it was all said and done, I had started getting very teary on the walk back home. To clarify, can't speak or understand almost any Japanese. Don't ask how or why I was there on exchange when I didn't understand the language, it's a long and very dumb story. Anyway, there I was, walking alone in this almost abandoned street at about 10 p.m., crying in 4 degree weather. Bless her heart, but a waitress from one of the little working cafes saw me through the window and came running out with a stack of tissues and food. There was a moment of pointing and smiles and there I was now with a nice thing of tissues and sweets for my emotional moment. Cheesy and small I know, but it was a comforting thought that someone would go out of their way to help just a random foreigner. I still smile now when I think about it. If that kind soul ever reads this, all I can say is thank you so much. You really helped to make my day that little bit better. 7. Okay I don't know if this really counts. I used to ride a sport bike, like a really fast motorcycle. So I was on my way to work one day, and there was some massive traffic jam that stretched for about 10 blocks. There were cops every couple of intersections. Now usually I wouldn't have cared because I know for a fact police can't catch me in this kind of traffic. 
it was absolute gridlock. But I decide to be a good boy and not risk it. So I get to the intersection where there's like three Colombian pesos cars and one of them walks up to me and goes go around them man, and points me to the shoulder on the side where the police vehicles were. This guy didn't know it but he actually saved me from potentially getting fired because if it wasn't for him giving me a pass to cut through 10 blocks of traffic I would have been late for the third consecutive time, very likely they could have fired me on the spot. I know cops get a bad rep but this one was okay on my book. Eight. I was visibly in a rough spot as far as my funds, but I was eating at an IHOP at this man paid for my food and asked me to pass on the favor. Made sure to do so next time I ate out, but it was really cool of this guy. I was eating with Y girlfriend and her brother and the bill was something like 50 to 60 plus tip and he covered both, tipping generously too. 9. I was backpacking in rural Akita and walking down a road with a sore back and blistered heels after 6 plus hours. A guy picked me up in his pickup truck then gave me food and took me to the train station where he tried to buy me a train ticket to my destination. This marks the end of the video. If you like my content, consider subscribing as it helps me a lot. See you until next time.